Hello and welcome back to Chinky Chum Place in the Gungeon. Right. I want to play something a bit different. I want to do a blessed run. You know what? Let's not change style. Chance of the Yeri Launcher. We want this gun for a long long time. Not that long. Just a period of time. But unlock it now. It looks pretty cool. If you ask me. Don't know what it does yet. Okay, so um no blessed run this time. But you know what? I wanna take up the challenge. We go play. That's the robot. Through level one though, of course. Okay. Um Am I ready to play as a robot? No. But I've, uh, you know, I thought, why not give it a go? As in a way of getting user character, or maybe, you know, Miracle does happen in the Gungeon. Or so. well, my Miracle sometimes it means extreme luck. You know, I could have get, gotten something, you know, really, really awesome that, that doesn't allow me to take damage. I don't think things like that exist. Or it's just some really powerful gun that I can do a lot of damage before before taking the damage that they can do oh, there's someone there, I didn't see you guys alright, I'll bring you guys here because um, what I did there, I used the coolant essentially just a water puddle but plus the um, battery every bullet that I fired will be electrified so electrified bullet that flies over in a water puddle will be electrified so anyone who walk, walked across it would take damage as well now I've this specifically say uh, walked over because I don't think flying enemies take that damage as well so yeah that's, that's one interesting thing that maybe you can call it balance or just a specific design but it makes sense though you know if I'm walking on the Electrified water of course I will be shocked. But um, if I just walked or somehow hover or fly over it or jump over it with a touching board in it, it makes sense that I don't take any damage. Or get shocked initially. Utility belt is really good. So is table tech rocket. Um it's totally possible to get 90 coins in level one. Is it likely? It's hard to say. Sometimes it, it just happens, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, let's put it this way, I think 9 is pretty hard. Like 50, 60, it's fine. It does take a lot of luck though. So I'm ready to choose between um, Utility Belt and the Table Tech Rocket. Now Table Tech Rocket is a bit more offense. Run defense, I would say, because it just flip a table and then it would just launch itself out in a straight line to, to do explosive damage to the enemy. But on the other hand, I think utility belt increases a um, slot for active item plus increasing ammo capacity. I gotta confirm that with the uh, ammo nomicon. I think it's necessary for me to do since you know all the items details are in there anyway. The utility belt would be an active item. Yes, oh there you go. Carry an additional item and more ammunition. I think that might trump the other item. In that case, hello cursor. Uh, right, there's no point buying that. Because I'm a robot, I don't have heart. It's heartless. Um and all the other items will gain me a curse anyway, so I don't really see myself buying stuff from her. So yeah, the curse that really bums me out on that. Unless I have some special items that can um, turn curse that into something really nice. And I think we have that item unlocked. I just can't remember what it's called. I think it's like a Revolver cylinder thingy that has all the sixes in, in in all the slots, and I think it does is that oh, okay. use that like that. I think what it does is that the more curse you have, the higher damage you can do, something like that. 
the rewards you the more negative stat you have. And by that I particularly mean curse. Okay, now we're getting close to 45 coins. Um, that's nice. We'll open it. And then we get more coins. Uh, blank knock back up. Pretty nice item, I would say. It doesn't work on bosses. I mean, the knockback doesn't work on bosses, but I guess it's kind of useful in um, normal rooms because you can knock them back into the pit if you need to. Because you know, normally I don't use blank in rooms at all. And for me to use it, it means it's that desperate. So if it can increase this knockback power, then yeah, sure, why not? I think it's definitely useful. Ah, uh, yep, very funny. I don't need that. I won't worry about secret level because I have no plan of going there. Ah, uh, why not gun? I'd rather not get a gun to fight the boss because that way I guarantee the gun. But in, I could check the secret room here first. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, there's another chest. I have no key. I can buy a key, but then I'll basically giving up on the utility belt. So for now, I'll fight the boss and maybe I'll drop me a key or more coins that can allow me to think about it. Okay, so technically, Bullet King doesn't walk, so my leaked coolant is absolutely useless. Um, I don't think wine of gun is a good choice here because it doesn't keep up with the DPS so I'd rather use my side weapon at least you know 20 shots or something or 15 shots I'm not sure that's stable damage output here okay I would not like to take any damage here no, my blanks are out so I'm getting a bit worried it properly. Oh, horrible. Yep, thought I would take the damage. It's very important for me not to take any more damage. It's hard to come by. I mean, I'm in the armor, and that's the only source that can keep me last longer in the dungeon. So, oh, okay, just a bit too slow or too fast. Dodge that one, and it should be dying soon. Come, come. Be nice if the boss dropped me a gun knife piece. Or oh, oh, a nano machine, even better. Um, health upgrade is pretty funny. It doesn't do anything at all. At all. Now I can buy a tiller belt. They'll have 20 coins, but then I can't buy a anything else. Uh, it's a really painful choice here. Mm, I, you know what, I'll buy this and go shoot the chest and uh, hope for the best. I think I made the right decision because more ammo and uh, Another active item, why not, right? Rather than trying to, to for something that you don't even know what's in there, it could have just given me a useless crap. Well, let's say another health upgrade. Like just then, if I got a flawless, different story. Alright, so our next level. I am a bit concerned about taking two damage in the first, in the first boss that we normally can take care of. Use the coolant a bit more here. Anything that helps. Oh, hello. This layout is pretty easy to fight the lead maiden. Ooh. Good. And that's the only thing in the room. Good. Okay, so I now have enough money to get one key. I kind of wish there would be more drops for me, especially armor. That would be very helpful, I must say. Anything gives me armor that I, that I would like to have. 
Alright, I can hear gun jurors. Gun sings, gun jurors. Oh, there's two of them. Hi. Just playing right in front of their faces. What? Since when? Right, alright, alright. So now I've got to be really careful about rolling over the gun through um, shots. For some reason it doesn't work anymore. Well I don't work as well. Anymore. Wow, that's a lot of table tech. Table tech sight is useful. Potion of lead skin is useful. Maybe potion of lead skin is a slightly better choice for um survivability. Because while Cape with X side is, is useful, it's a little bit situational because it, it has no use at all if you don't have a table in the room. While potion blood skin is always useful oh, as long as you have a as long as you have a charge with you. That was pretty close. Alright, should be hard. It should be a let me then coming a second wave if I remember correctly. That's okay. Because they do give me a lot of money. Yep, they do. No let made it it's fine, in fact, it's good news. Be careful where you roll. It's been proven that you can't dodge him three times in a row. Alright, um <laughs> I mean it's a routine for me to shoot a chest, but it doesn't mean it's a routine for me to prepare is a is a mimic. Oh. It's like it's like you have a routine to knock the knock a door before you go in. For for the sake of you know hoping that's not a uh, I don't know, serial killer or monsters. But then for the day, exact day that that monster pops up, it's the day you you jump as well because you do it just for the sake of it. You're not doing it for the actual reason. And we get a really crap weapon out of it. So if I have a gun manja, these two guns are going for sure. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll go that way. I still want to buy the potion of lead skin. But then at the same time, I'm not having enough keys. I mean, that lucky chest is a uh, mimic, so I get the free weapon out of it, no matter what. So that that's fine. It's just a gun that I don't use, so technically I didn't lose anything. It's just a gain something. It's not. It doesn't have much value. Alright. I'm just using the gun because, because why not? But I don't particularly like it. Fiends in the gun. Okay, uh, brown chest. Don't care enough. Unless I have enough keys. I another NPC that requires keys to buy stuff. It's a bit ridiculous. Uh, yeah, go the other way. And get them more money and hopefully I can buy some arm. And I don't even know if there's any arm. Ooh. <laughs> I probably want to spend all my money on a YB. Especially when um, right now my guns are not reliable. Uh, okay. I'm glad you found a way out because otherwise I I don't know what to do. The lead maiden. That's a bit annoying. One of the more annoying layout. Okay, good, good, good. The damage isn't too bad. It feels like it's slightly higher than other characters. I don't know why. Did I pick up something? Or is it because of the um, electric damage that I'm doing? It's actually it's an add-on to the gun's base damage. So that would be really good news. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. Okay. <coughs> Allow me cough. So 70 coins. The first time for YP shine is shrine. 
is 10, and then 20, so I have 30, and then next one will be 30, which is 60. So we can effectively do the shrine for all the wrong reason. I don't think it's the wrong reason though, I think it's pretty, pretty neat to do it three times. But does it mean it's worth it to abandon all the keys? There's only one way to find it, isn't it? Is it junk? Yeah, just do the wife each try. I mean, I only got two health left. What could be worse? Alright. Hello, YV. Hello, YV. Hello, YV. So I did three times. Oh, there you go. I don't know ex how exactly the chances happen in normal. All I know is it's better than none. What the heck? Sure. It's definitely something to do on my part here, but... Well, that's no fight. I just, I just should have been more careful. I'm just hoping that um, YV like me enough to help me out. So far, I don't see much. Okay. Yeah, I just, just don't see much either. Okay, that. I think it ate it. Nope. Nope. Killed it just in time. J-I-T Alright I'm keeping an eye on the bullets just to see if YB Shrine is uh, blessing on me Okay, that didn't kill in time But at the same time I need to tell myself not to just keep looking at the, your own bullets because if it happens, it happens you should keep an eye out on enemy bullets to, to dodge it Nope, didn't kill it in time. That's been annoying. I thought 60 coins would would be enough to keep me aggressive. Apparently it doesn't really do. Quickly kill that one up. That would definitely be helpful. Alright, there we go. And we're gonna start soon. I'm really like to do that. Very good. At least you get an, an armor back for the flawless. Um, a heart is definitely not useful. Jetpack. Uh, I, I don't know what to comment on it. Pretty much nothing. I don't think I can buy anything in the shop, but I will check. Look, just not enough for anything. That's the case, then we'll just head down the next floor. I'm surprised that I'm surviving with a robot in level 2. Like that. And. Let's just say that. Although I know that's a fact, but you know, when you have only one armor left, that's the um, robot. And you kill the boss, it's basically guaranteed a uh, flawless. It just marginally speaking. I just speaking, no. It just all you get is one more armor that you can replenish. So while I should be happy, it's not really something that I should celebrate. It's not not worth celebrating. But 720 shots of um, wine of gun plus YV shrine might make things happen. Might become like a rail gun or something. If it triggers, that is. Like that, that would be really cool. So, guns with high ammo count would be really fun to, to have a YV shrine it's blessing on. Because the more you shoot, the more chances you have to trigger the effect. Ooh, okay. Okay, that was really, really scary. Ooh, okay. Okay, those guys have to go. 
because they're al altering my um, normal escape routine. And I saw that's a bit of waste. Nice. I would like to send AK-47 because it's much more reliable than a fighter gun. Alright, yeah, keep pushing them in there. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. There you go. Which means that um, for the normal amount that I rewind up the gun, I could have shot more bullets than, than I normally would have. So you know, let's say you normally reload when I fight uh, 5 shots with wind up gun. Now, I do the same, but with a bonus I could have shot more than half. So I could have shot uh, effectively ooh, fight uh, 10 shots or maybe 14-15 shots when I reload. Go. That got killed in a nice and quick manner. Indeed, it does. All right. Uh, I really one last part of armor again. It's just quite stressful, constantly like stressful when you know that you're on uh, the last bit to help. Right. Right. Go. Still nothing dropped, that's okay. Guess my um Gungeon Run doesn't doesn't mean much. According to games RNG. Oh that was close. Try not to use the jetpack because um I'll confuse myself. Like activate it without knowing and then start cursing how it come. They can't dodge. Good. Link man. So we took the link when last. There's still like quite a bit of room to explore. And hopefully we'll uh, reward me with something very useful. That that is like game changer. That's what we normally say. Nope. Gotta kill you with that. Belongs. Much tanker than I expected. Oh, coins, sure. Oh, sure. As much as I don't like the gun, I think it's quite useful to have the ammo drop on. Okay. There we go. I'd rather jump over and push you down a bit. Work much better than expected. Dum -bum 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 -bum. There we go. Um, like seriously, there's no keys at all. Uh, go back that way. Let's search the other way. We still haven't found a shop yet, eh? So that's something we want to see. And you know what? If we can sell this, then we get some money, and hopefully a bit more. Useful than carrying a dead weight. Not really a dead weight, it's just like jump. Except jump is like worthless, but maybe it's hard if I can sell it, it can worth some even 15 18 coins would be very, very helpful. Alright, straight line is good. Nice. Alright. Um. I'll try this way first. I found both the secret room, haven't I? I mean the item. Yep, there it is. Shops in that room. Good. Tank us down. Room is much easier. Alright. I can't really tell if the um, Wiping Shrine is debating. Because it's too flashy for me to count if uh, there's extra. Projectiles. Uh, sure, I will buy one key to ensure at least one chest. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
Alright. No more check again. Um, again, I forgot what it does. Something, something about me being wounded. Deals damage to enemies when the bear is wounded, so. At the moment, it's definitely useless. Because it ends when I take one damage. What happened? King Bullet. I don't know what happened. Well, I must be get killed by a bouncy bullet or something. Anyway, well, I'm gonna end this here for now. Thank you for watching. Please consider hitting a like button or subscribe if you like what you're watching. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.